Welcome to Dartfish Video Analysis by Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. The purpose of this video is to introduce one of the many services we offer in our JOI rehab offices. Dartfish is the leader in video analysis technology. It is the industry standard used by universities, academies, professional organizations, coaches, and athletes worldwide. This unique system allows for our clinicians at JOI to analyze movement patterns performed in just about any sporting activity. By viewing high-speed movements at the slower frame-by-frame -frame speeds, we are able to see aberrant movements or mechanics that may be missed by the naked eye. It allows for our clinicians to identify mechanical flaws that may result in injury or impede your optimal sports performance. On this video, we will show some ways that we use Dartfish to observe faulty running mechanics. To begin with, we will take a look at a few examples of runners being videotaped from a posterior view. The first video shows a good example of how dartfish can be used to be captured what goes on at the foot and ankle. This is an example of an extreme pronator. Everyone pronates to some extent with normal gait mechanics. Typically most people pronate from about 8 to 15 degrees of motion in the rear foot. As illustrated here, can lead to common injuries at the hip, knee, and ankle. As you can see here, this is clearly excessive from the normal. Video 2 is an example of how we can use dartfish, again from the rear view, but this time looking at something else. This patient tends to externally rotate the tibia during stance phase, as seen by the arrow here. This extra rotation may be due to underlying tightness in the calf muscles or hips, or perhaps the patient has weakness. Video 3 is an example of how we can use dartfish to capture what is happening at the hip and knees. Using a front view, we can see that this runner has a tendency to cross his left leg over the midline quite excessively. Typically, feet would maintain about 6 to 12 inches in width during successive stance phases. Some runners have a tendency for the feet to actually cross the midline of the body while running. This can begin to cause problems in the hips or knees, patellofemoral syndrome, IT band syndrome, and hip bursitis, to name a few. The last video shows dartfish being used from a lateral view to analyze gait. Typically, this view is used to look at stride length, arm swing, and trunk posture. Here, we're going to be looking at stride length. Using the distance tool, we can measure this patient's length. Looking at stride length can be useful as many runners can develop conditions at the knee, such as runner's knee and or patellar tendonitis if their stride length is too short. In summary, as you can see, dartfish can be used in several different ways to study body mechanics. These are just a few examples of how we utilize dartfish here at JOI. Whether you're looking for a competitive edge in sports performance or looking for ways to resolve injuries related to improper mechanics, dartfish video analysis is a valuable tool. Let the clinical rehab team at JOI help you improve. For questions or further information regarding this valuable video system, call one of our convenient rehab locations.